about Christmas. So let's begin by playing a little game. Are you guys ready out there? All right, here we go. One of the words that's a clue to what our story is about today is great, okay? Or the greatest, but great is the word. I'm gonna play a game now, let's go. I got some pictures. I'm gonna show you and I want you to tell me if you think the person that I'm showing you is great or not. Are you ready? So who do you think this is? Do you know who this is? This is Queen Elizabeth, the Queen of England. So my question is, is she great? Well, she might be a nice lady. Is she great? I'm not really sure. She's certainly famous, right? How about this picture? Who is this man? Do you know? He is the Prime Minister of Canada, Justin Trudeau. Is he great? Well, I don't know. What about this guy? Do you know who he is? Mickey Mouse. He's not even a real person. Is he great? Hmm. Well, he's famous. And you all must know who this is. SpongeBob. Is he great? Well, he's not a real person either and he might be fun, but I'm not sure if he's great. Today, we're gonna to learn about somebody who is really great, and you might have a clue as to what that is. Well, we have another clue for you. What's today's lesson all about? So remember the word great, and the word impossible. Impossible, what's impossible? Something that cannot be done. And I am losing my Christmas tree, there we go. All right. So I'm going to read out some things and you're going to tell me whether you think, ah, whether you think it's impossible or not. Are you ready? Okay. Is it possible to sneeze with your eyes open? <gasps> I'm not sure. I never tried it. What about this one? Do you all know what bubble wrap is? Bubble wrap is that plastic stuff that you you cover things and when you ship it out in a big box or a parcel and it's got all these little bubbles on it. Is it possible to see bubble wrap and not want to pop the bubble? All right, the next one is, is it possible to lick your own elbow? Now let's try it. Try the other one. I think it's impossible. What do you think? Hmm. And here's another one. Can you, is it possible to teach your goldfish how to play the piano? A goldfish have to be in water, right? And goldfish don't have hands, so that's probably impossible. Well, we're gonna find out some impossible things that just happen to be made possible. So the words, these are our clues, the word impossible and the word great. All right, so let's go to today's lesson. I'll be right back. So here we are for lesson number one. Are you ready? Well, let me ask you, have you ever been surprised? Do you like surprises? What if somebody gave you a surprise birthday party? How would you feel? Would you be excited? Probably. But what about if you're wakened in the night by a loud crashing sound? What would you feel then? Afraid? Yeah. Sometimes surprises can be scary and sometimes it can be exciting, but sometimes surprises can be both. They can be kind of scary, but exciting at the same time. And that's a little bit about what our lesson is about today. A girl an ordinary girl, a young girl from an ordinary town, a town called Nazareth. And something surprising happened to her. Her name is Mary. And her story is taken from the Gospel of Luke. That's the third book of the New Testament. Chapter 1, verses 26 to 56. So, let's go to our story. Let's meet Mary, and here she is. 
Oh, Lord, you are so awesome. I just thank you for your many blessings. And <gasps> Greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Oh, yikes, who are you? Who Don't are be you? afraid, Mary. I'm an angel. My name is Gabriel. God is really happy with you. You will have a baby boy and give him the name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and he will rule over his people forever. Oh, an angel's talking to me. I must have had too much pizza last night. No, this is real. How can this be, angel? I'm not married. Shouldn't I be married to have a baby? Mary, God's spirit will come to you, and the power of the Most High God will cover you, and your son will be the Son of God. Your relative Elizabeth is having a baby, too, in her old age. No one thought that would happen. But you can see, God does impossible things. I am your servant, Lord. Let it be done to me according to what you have said. Oh, I'm having... I'm having a baby. Oh, my goodness. This is, this is amazing. How can... This, this is like, I can't believe this. Oh, and Elizabeth, she's having a baby too. Oh, my goodness. I must go to her now. Yes, that's what I'll do. Oh, Lord. Oh. So did you see the surprising thing that happened to Mary? And what were the two clues that we had at the beginning before we did our lesson? Great and impossible. Well, who was great in the story? The angel told Mary that she would give birth to the son of the most high God. He would be great and his reign would be forever and ever and ever. Who would be great? The son of God, Mary's baby would be called Jesus. And he was not just going to be any old baby. He was going to be the son of God. And this was impossible because Mary had never known a man. And so Mary was going to give birth supernaturally through the Holy Spirit. That was impossible, but it became possible because God intervened. And what about her relative Elizabeth? Elizabeth was well past being able to have a baby, but God made it possible for her, her relative Elizabeth to be expecting a baby in her old age. The impossible became possible. Wow, imagine that. God come in the flesh as a baby. Wow, how amazing is that? And that brings us to our memory verse for today. A memory verse is found in Luke chapter one, verse 32. And it's the first part of the verse and it says, he will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. Luke 1, 32a. And our faith fact today is, believe that Jesus is God's Son. See, Mary did something that maybe we might not have done. When the angel told Mary that she was going to give birth to a baby and he would be the Son of God, she could have said, that's not possible. That's crazy. That can't be. That can't be. But no, Mary did something that we need to do when we're confronted with the word of God and it sounds impossible. Mary believed, oops, Mary believed God. She believed that what the angel told her was from God and that it would happen. And she was willing to do whatever God says. And we need to believe what the word of God tells us, because God said it, we need to believe it. And the most important thing that we can believe is that Jesus is God's son. Believe who he is, because it will lead us to salvation. He came as a baby to die on the cross to save us from our sin. And so our faith fact is, believe that Jesus is God's son. Okay, so let's pray and let's ask God to help us to believe him and help us to believe that the impossible can be possible. All right, let's pray. 
Father, we thank you that you came, that you sent your only son to come to die on the cross for us. And we choose to believe that you came to save us. And that is the greatest news that we could ever hear. So thank you, Lord, for sending Jesus to us. And thank you, Lord, that we can choose to believe. And when we do, Lord, impossible things happen. We give you thanks and praise. In Jesus' name, everybody said, Amen. All right, I got something else to show you before we go. So stay tuned. Okay, so we're back. Wasn't that an awesome lesson that we had today about Mary and the impossible thing that God did, not only for Mary, but also for Elizabeth. And I'm going to show you something hmm, about impossibilities. Are you ready? Okay. I have a bottle here and a balloon. What I'm going to try to do is blow this balloon up inside the bottle. Can it be done? Is it possible? Let's try it. Hmm, not working. Oh, I think this might be impossible. Let's try it. this bottle and this balloon. See if it makes any difference. Are you ready for this? All right, here we go. Wow. So it's possible to blow this balloon in this bottle with this balloon, but not this one. Why? Hmm. This one, it seemed impossible to blow the balloon up, but not this one. You know why? Because this bottle has no hole in it. No air can get inside the bottle. But with this one, there is a hole in it. And so air can come in, making it possible for us to blow up the balloon. Some things are possible with different circumstances and situations. But with God, the impossible is made possible. It's not science, it's not circumstance, it's God. And God intervened in the situation with Mary and with Elizabeth. And he can do impossible things in my life and your life. Christmas is a world of impossibilities becoming possible with God. Jesus was born and we are thankful that he was. I'm going to see you next time for lesson number two in our Christmas theme. So bye for now and Merry Christmas!